LinkedIn, a platform where you can create an impact. Forget about Twitter, Facebook or Instagram. LinkedIn is the platform where the money is. If you are a professional or a fresher and looking out for job opportunities, making connections, increase your followers, increase the visibility, then LinkedIn is the platform where you should focus and optimize on. My name is Satyajit Patnaik and in this video, I'm going to talk about various tips and tricks that we can follow in order to enhance our LinkedIn profile, which will help us in gaining more and more followers, creating impact, making connections and ultimately helping you in your job opportunities as well. Let's get started. The first thing that we are going to discuss is the LinkedIn cover image and your profile image. There is a way how you can improvise and make an impact because that's the first thing somebody sees when they visit your profile. How to enhance the cover photo and profile image? Let's watch out. Let's get into the cover photo and the profile image. You can see the cover photo and the profile image are actually in sync. How you can do that is very simple. First, you should focus on a good cover image. Now, in my case, this cover image is basically my company's cover image. So I have to use it. In your case, if you don't have such restrictions, please go ahead and create your own cover image. How can you do that? You can always leverage a platform called as Canva. I do have a Canva Pro account, but just for simplicity, you you might not have a pro account that's why i want to show from a layman's point of view how you can leverage canva without being a pro user so just simply go here search linkedin cover and you will be able to get something called as linkedin cover image here you can actually get multiple templates if you want to use you can probably use one of them and get started with it so let's say you are creating a profile for a data analyst or a data scientist what you can do is let's say you can just simply start with something like this if you want you can remove your images if you want to write down your name just simply write down and then let's say you want to write down data analyst or data analytics and data science and just expand it in case you need this you write it down in case you don't it's up to you let's say space 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 sql let's say you are going to use this so what we can do is we can download this and start using it so my download is in progress it should have been downloaded right now let's go ahead and change it out and we will change the photo let's say we will be using the and that's it ready we have a new profile photo now the cover image has to be in sync with your profile image always choose your profile image on linkedin to be a professional one now this one looks a little bit odd what i can do is i'll probably go ahead and change the color let's say i will change the color to blue that is completely fine let's download this and try to use this i'll go ahead and change this photograph we'll change it great we have a new pro profile photo a new cover image now if i just refresh this is how it looks like now how to create a stunning profile photo that is in sync with your cover image now this is off sync right it's not in sync this color and this color are different so what you can do is always use a professional photograph for linkedin many people use some unprofessional photographs that they use on facebook Facebook or Instagram it is not recommended always it is recommended to have a professional photograph you can see people on the right screen most of them have a professional photograph if I have a look at it you can see they do have a professional photograph this one is not professional I won't recommend this type of photographs but other than that everybody has a good photograph so what you can do here is if you have a photograph let's say this was my original photograph what I did was simply I changed the background using remove.bg once I removed the background this is how it looks like now once i have this then what i did was i tried a platform called as image color picker i just quickly uploaded my image let us quickly upload the image that we have created and i will select this part this is the hex code then i will go to my link uh, my canva i'll start creating a linkedin profile picture here i will be uploading my photograph i'll upload my transparent photograph so this is my transparent photograph and then i will just change this color color to the color that I have picked from the color picker that's it now you can see that's my final photograph I will download it and I will be using it download is complete I'll go here and I will add photo and I will upload the photograph to the photograph that I have created and that's it that's the most simplest way of creating a stunning cover photo and a profile picture that is in sync now it looks good because it looks good because it's in sync right now the second point is going to be title title plays a major role because when somebody is looking at your title they should be able to understand what exactly you do what text text you use and entirely about your profile your title is the most important thing because it explains you the title 
title is something when somebody visits your profile the first thing that they usually see is the visuals that's going to be your cover image and your profile image and then comes your title this basically reflects your profile so in this case what we'll do is we'll probably save this to notepad so that i can retrieve it later the technique that you should use here is very simple to start with your role let's say lead data consultant in my case and then start with your skills let's say python sql machine learning deep learning gen ai and apart from that if you are into other things let's say you are an educator or teacher or mentor all these things you can start writing using pipes that will create a good impression data enthusiast no enthusiast is not needed uh, mentor and let's say teacher that's it we'll keep it simple and then save it that becomes your new profile forget about this thing this is something that i have you might not have don't consider this one this is where the most impactful thing is if you are good with your cover photo and your profile photo and the title most of the work is done almost 50 percent work is done and then we will move on to the next part the third important point is going to be portfolio url there is a place on linkedin where you can actually showcase your portfolio if you are a fresher or your experienced professional and you have a beautiful portfolio of different types of projects be it data analytics data science or any kind of projects you want to showcase you want somebody to visit that platform then probably go ahead and use that particular url in the portfolio let's go ahead and see how to do that forget about this thing now you can see on my platform on my page this is my link that i want people to redirect and that's my own youtube channel now what you can do is just click on this icon go down to edit custom button you can click on link and then use whatever link you want to use let's say you want to use your github profile so let's say this is my github profile i want to use this check out my git as simple as that and save it done save is successful if you refresh you are basically showing that in your profile that you are asking people who are visiting you to check out your github page and this is very important because this will have most of your projects if you already have a portfolio website like a different website like your name.com or something like that where you are showcasing all your projects in that case you can redirect to that url the fourth most important point is going to be featured section there is a section on linkedin page which is a feature section where you can feature all your important blogs or portfolio projects on even your portfolio url how can we do that let's see if i go to the featured section scroll down a little bit and this is where the featured section comes into picture now in order to have a featured section you should always be active on linkedin you should be posting your project you should be posting your blogs whatever you are doing in the space of data or whatever your niche is let's say you are a software engineer you are posting more and more blogs around software engineering or posting videos around that and you are posting it on linkedin so you can probably go ahead and edit that how to create a featured post it's very simple you have to go to your profile you have to go to your post that you have posted if i scroll down let's say i'll go to one of my posts and let's say you want to make this as a featured just click on this and click on feature on top of profile once you do that that particular post will be visible in your featured link now in my case what you can see is all of my important projects that i have done is being showcased here apart from your regular post you can also showcase your portfolio url you are already doing that as part of this feature you can always have a portfolio section in the featured section just click on plus add a link and then you can add your github if you want to and then github overview and then if you want to have a thumbnail you can use canva whatever you want to let's say we will be using canva let's say we will be using this and saving it so this particular link will be shown as part of your feature so i have used my own image you have to always make it look beautiful like a github related image so that when somebody is crawling down or oh, this is your portfolio and they will click once they click they will be redirected to that particular page the next point is going to be the about section which basically talks more about you what are you what are your experience what are your expertise skills that you know and so on and how to optimize that let's watch it out now the next part is going to be the about section about section if you scroll down a little bit after posts comes your about section this is where you can leverage chat gpt in our days like two three years back there was no chat gpt uh, it's been in the market for the last one year so my about section has been written down since last many many years and i have not updated it in case you want to have a good about section go ahead and leverage something from the chat gpt and then use it maybe i will go ahead to chat 
chat gpt now as i stay in hong kong i don't have access to chat gpt but i do have access to an alternative this is my about section on linkedin can you please rephrase it so that it looks professional and then we'll try to see what chat gpt responds so and then copy paste it over here edit it i don't want to edit because i'm happy with what i have mentioned so that you can do okay this is the about us section which also is important lastly we'll talk about the experience experience plays the vital role when you are experienced or even you are a fresher how you can write down your internships how you can write down the pointers we have to always use the google formula of xyz formula what exactly is this we will try to understand that now lastly we will go into the section which is experience so experienced professionals or freshers you still be having something to show freshers will have internships to show if you don't have internships you can show some projects experienced people they know what to show you can show your previous experiences but how to write down these pointers now all of the pointers are same i mean whatever i had mentioned i had mentioned i used chat gpt to create this particular line so whatever you write here as part of your experience in this particular company that has to follow the google's resume formula which is xyz which is accomplished x as measured by y by doing z so you can see developed and deployed x which is multiple ai projects including chatbots and recommendation systems utilizing various machine learning and natural language processing and if you have some numbers to show uh, or increasing the efficiency by 17 percent that you can mention here so for me this is what it is you can use chat gpt just copy paste this and ask chat gpt please regenerate this particular line as part of google formula of xyz and it will be able to create that so that's all about different features of linkedin what else can you do is be active more and more posts more and more updates on linkedin will always help you try to share as much documents as possible because on linkedin if you post more and more documents or more and more polls that's where you gain more and more attraction and views so that is something that you can do to leverage linkedin so these are all the tips and tricks that you can follow to leverage linkedin as a platform to gain more and more traction more and more job opportunities opportunities make connections increase your followers and so on but in this video i have focused more on the profile part but what else is needed is going to be your activeness on the platform the more and more active you are on platform the better growth you will have because only by doing the profile changes nothing will happen overnight you need to fight you need to be very active on the platform there are multiple things that you can do that i'm giving you as an extra tip is start posting on a daily basis whatever you are learning post it if you are writing a blog post it if you are working on a project post it and your posts has to be good it also has to have some documents or some images in it so that it can have more engagements if there are some good profiles in your friend list also try to tag them so that they can see the post and give some likes or comments which will also increase the engagement you can also leverage the linkedin polls feature to add them in your posts which also helps in engagement so there are many many more things that are possible around linkedin what i have explained to you is just a b c d there are many more letters to learn in case you are interested to have a detailed session on linkedin which is not possible in 10 minutes we can go for a youtube live session on linkedin for at least one hour or two hours invite some professionals who have 70k 80k or even more than that followers and we can have that session very soon if you are interested in such session let me know in the comment section if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel that's all about this video see you in the next video Thank you.